Hello everyone, Danas here with Action VFX. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic glass effects in Adobe After Effects. We will be focusing on how to create a 3D glass pane complete with fake reflections and refractions. To showcase some of the principles better, we will start creating our glass in a 3D environment in After Effects. And then at the end, I will show you how to integrate the glass that we have created into a live action plate. We will use three Action VFX asset collections for this shot, breaking glass and two free collections, fractured glass and bullet holes textures. Anyway, without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. Okay, so here is my composition. So first, let's turn this into a 3D scene with a full 360 background. So I have this 360 HDRI image plate that I downloaded from hdriheaven.com and let's unwrap this into an environment. So let's get a new solid and a camera. And then I'm gonna get CC environment FX into my solid and select the 360 image as the environment source. Let's increase the lens distortion a bit so we can see more of the scene. Then if we rotate around the scene, we have this 3D environment. Don't forget to always have the 360 HDRI source layer at the bottom. Now we have the scene set up, let's create the glass effects. The key to making a glass is it needs to exhibit at least three properties. One is the main texture, which is the dirt and scratches on your glass. And then you need the refraction, the opaqueness of your glass. And then you need the reflection. Or glossiness which usually when you look at a glass or a window you would see some of your reflection reflected on the glass so that's what we're going to do we are going to build these properties one by one so first let's start with creating the glass texture let's create a new composition and size it to however big you want your glass to be and then we want to populate this composition with our glass textures so we are going to layer in our texture. I'm going to add this tempered glass 3 and 4 assets. And then I'm going to freeze frame it on its first frame. So now we have this really cool texture of the glass before they are shattered. So we're going to position them and match the edges of the glass to the composition. And maybe use masking to seam the glass layers with each other. And then let's add our cracks and holes textures into the scene. So I'm going to add in this bullet hole texture and then our fractured glass. Now, unlike the other texture, our fractured glass textures have a black background. So let's get rid of them by giving them shift channel and then change the alpha to luminance. So now you just want to start playing around with this composition, adding texture, maybe do some color correction. For example, for the edges, I used Curve to boost the alpha so the dirt and smudges is a bit more visible. Okay, so once finished, let's go back into the main comp and bring in our glass texture composition. So now if we move around, we have our first step of the glass. Great, so now we are going to create the refraction. Let's create an adjustment layer below our glass texture, rename it refraction. And then go to the solid settings here and let's make the adjustment layer around the size of our glass texture. And then we're gonna add some refraction properties. So let's add curve to give it a bit more bluish green color. And then we're gonna add a bit of like a bulge distortion. So let's add a transform effect to our adjustment layer and scale it up just a little. And then we're gonna add some blurry chromatic aberration. So get channel blur and blur our red channel and green channel a little bit. And then what I did is I just want to roto out the edges a bit so I can add some feather just to make it a bit more seamless. And then let's roto out the bullet hole part because we don't have any glass in there so we don't want it to be affected by the refraction. Now let's turn these two layers into 3D layers. So now we have our 3D glass and if we fly around, it looks great. Okay, so next is the final piece of the puzzle, the reflection. We are not going to do what is called a true reflection. We instead are going to use a pre-made texture, flip it and slap it into our glass to make it look like a reflection. So a fake reflection. So the reflection texture or image map will be a mirror image of whatever the pane of glass is facing. 
Thankfully, the background plate is a 360 texture. So what we can do is add a flop preset effects to our original 360 plate source layer. And then we will duplicate our background layer, not the source one, the one with the CC environment. We are going to duplicate that, put it on top. And then we are going to change the source on the duplicate to FX and mask. So now this layer will source the flipped version of the HDRI as the environment. Let's go to a horizontal pan to rotate it a little bit. So this layer will be our reflection texture map. And then we are going to duplicate the refraction layer, put it on top, rename it reflection and delete all the effects. And then we want to select our reflection map and alpha mat it into the top layer. So now we have simulate reflection by layering our environment texture on top of the glass. But currently the reflection is way too opaque. So let's reduce that to make it more realistic. So we are going to turn it to screen. And then what we want is to slightly fast blur the reflection a bit. So to make it a bit less perfect. And then we want to reduce the opacity. And we have our glass reflection. Now we are done with the glass. How do we integrate this into an actual live action footage? Well, it is super simple. Basically just do everything that we just did, except you want to change up the reflection map according to your scene. So for example, I want to put the glass on this plate here that I downloaded from pexels.com. So what I want to do is 3D track this plate and then copy paste our glass that we just made into this composition. If you'd like to know some tips on 3D tracking or how to properly add your elements into your 3D track scene, you can check out my 3D bullet time tutorial, link in the description below. Okay, so now we have this. Currently, the reflection texture on the glass is still using this layer from our previous reflection map. So what we want is to replace it with a new texture. Since the camera of this shot is just a push in without any crazy rotating movement, I could just use a normal 2D image as the reflection map instead of a 360 environment. So let's disable this reflection layer. Let's add this footage of a house as our reflection map. And then like the previous composition, alpha mat it to the top reflection layer. Give it a blur, change it to screen, lower the opacity, and then we want to turn it into a 3D layer and then push it way behind the window and then rescale it to fit the window. And now we have our reflection properly tracked into the shot. And that was it for the tutorial. If you want to get the glass texture that I used in this video, you can check them out on the description below, or you can go to our website at actionvfx.com. Action VFX provides high quality assets for your VFX needs, from fire, explosions, energy, to people, and many, many others. We also have free assets that you can download right now on actionvfx.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or you can check out our new Action VFX forum on forum.actionvfx.com where you can not only ask questions but also hang out with other creatives. Introduce yourself, share your works, discuss about films, VFX, and pretty much anything you want to discuss. Anyway, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.